Our top story is unemployment and certainty into the new year and traffic congestion in the mother city. A very good afternoon with the news at 3 o'clock. I'm Vignesh Nadu. Hundreds of workers have uh, faced a gloomy festive season with the unemployment and certainty into the new year. Several companies have taken steps to restructure their corporations, which may lead to job losses. While labor unions cry foul, there's very little they can do to avert it. Tetamatlakwana reports. Imagine spending the festive season under a cloud of uncertainty as to whether you'll be able to provide for your family in the new year. This is the reality for many, including about 1,200 SAPI workers whose bosses have indicated intentions to lay them off. The situation is worse at the uranium mine on Johannesburg's West Rand. The mining company plans to retrench over 1,800 workers in January next year. This as the company tries to curb costs in the face of a recession which has stifled finances over the past three years. Unions have vowed to challenge these retrenchments and have even called on government to intervene. Ted Domashakwana, SABC News, Johannesburg. Madeleine Mandela is set to wed this weekend despite being interdicted by his estranged first wife, Tando Mabunu, in the Mtata High Court. A family spokesperson has confirmed that former President Nelson Mandela's son will, as planned, marry Mbali Makatini at the Mveso Great Place. Earlier this week, Mabunu was granted a prohibitory court order against Mandela, which prohibits him from marrying anyone while still married to her. The court order against him came just two days after Mandela's assets were attached by Port Elizabeth Sheriff for apparently defaulting on paying maintenance to his former wife. Well-known media practitioner Wandile Zota and his wife have died in a collision at Kronstadt in the Free State. They were en route to Cape Town. Zota joined the SABC in 1988 in Cape Town, then moved to Radio Transkai before moving to Johannesburg. During his eight years as the broadcaster, he worked as a sports commentator, a part-time anchor for Gosa News and the current affairs program Newsline. He then joined the private sector. Zota was a member of the International Association of Business Communicators and the Black Management Forum. Western Cape Traffic Authority say main roads leading in and out of the province are experiencing exceptionally high traffic volumes. Provincial Traffic Chief Kenny Africa has urged road users to give their full cooperation to traffic authorities and to adhere to the rules of the road. Well, I'm very glad about it because of all the accidents and all the deaths on the roads. This is what we need in South Africa. So, yes, it's great. No problem at all. For road safety, I'll do anything. No, well, I don't drink and drive, I'll never do. I like to keep road safety as uh, either my biggest priority. I'm just happy I'm not drinking. <laughs> Port Elizabeth police believe speeding played a major role in a minibus accident that claimed four lives. The accident's reported to have happened on a stretch of the N2 in the Nelson Mandela Bay Metro. The driver is reported to have lost control of the minibus, and police spokesperson Alwyn Labens believes this was due to speeding. They rolled several times and four of the people died, three women and a male. The other four were rushed to the hospital, they are also in a serious condition. This is the first one that I saw in, well, of this nature, where people were spread all over. And that shows me that speed were one of the main uh, reasons why. And finally, fast bowling sensation Vernon Philander's participation in the second test against Sri Lanka is in doubt after he pulled up with a knee injury in Durban. Philander's enjoyed a remarkable start to his career, taking 24 wickets in three tests. He injured his knee during a net session. South African team manager Mohamed Musaji says they remain confident that Philander will play in the test, which starts on Monday. If Philander fails to recover from the injury, it could signal a debut for 21-year-old fast bowler Merchant Delanga.